A breastfeeding debate and controversy over a high school student's dress are two of the hot web items this week. Let's get on over to Jeff with fitness blogger Maria Kang. What's buzzing, you two? Did you say a dress that's too short? <laughs> Is that one of the topics? You heard it, that. it was too short? I just said a dress. Well, it, it was a dress that's too short. And, you know, we've got rules here, too. Oh, my so. God. I, this is the first time I'm not wearing a dress. Make sure. Uh, <laughs> the pants. The pants look. The pants are coming down to uh, the middle here. Yeah, you're, I'm showing that too much ankle. That does break right the here. rule here, Maria. We've got rules here. That's so funny. Yeah. Uh, well, before I even get to that dress issue, I want to talk about breastfeeding. There's an article on parenting.com, and this was certainly buzzing this week, and it's because of a college grad who decided to breastfeed during the graduation ceremony. You may have heard of her, 25-year-old Carlicia Thurman, 25-year-old grad. The picture of her doing that went viral, and Wendy Williams did not have nice things to say mm -hmm. about her on her show, and her comments prompted about 30 women to protest outside of her TV studio, mm -hmm. uh, defiantly nursing their babies. Thurman says people on Twitter were very harsh against her. One person writing, quote, I do not care how natural breastfeeding is. A college graduation is not the place. Decorum, people. And another said, middle of graduation is not the time to whip a breast out. Mm -hmm. Thurman said nobody at her graduation had a problem with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think you're the best to answer this. <laughs> uh, having raised three children, you know, is, is, it, is it really still taboo? I mean, do you feel like uh, the public judges people who do that? I personally don't. I mean, I was a nursing mother, but at the same time, I covered myself. And I saw the picture that she posted, and she, she had laid it all out. And I think that right. there should be a level of modesty that we should have. Have when feeding our child. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone knows that breast is best, but have some modesty. But I do have to say that what Wendy Williams said is a little, little mean. Are there certain places <laughs> where women should just not do that? I mean, you see it happen on the plane. You know Sometimes what? it happens in the movie theater. I mean, it is dark in there. I've but. done it. I've done it in church. Okay. And, and that was tough because, you know, my, my father wasn't okay with it. And, but I thought, you know, I'm feeding my child. I'm covering it up. But I, you know what? If your child is hungry and if, if that's the only thing that will make it stop crying, then right. feed your child. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. It's a tough one, Dan. <laughs> it's a tough you one. You know, I mean, the problem is once you start saying, well, you could do it here, but you got to cover up, and then it's like you're going to have a list of rules. Right. What you can and can't do. It's going to get complicated. Yeah. She just cover up. Well, okay. we're about to get more complicated with this one, too. <laughs> we're going to go from college to high school, where a teenager in North Carolina wore a dress that the school considered to be too short. I thought my last day was going to be great and exciting, but they just pretty much ruined it for me. By the way, it was the last day of school when that happened. So they sent her home, and uh, what the mom did, she wasn't happy with the school, and uh, what they decided, that her dress was too short by half an inch. The mother, Amy Redwine, said, quote, pick on me, I'm an adult, I can take it. Redwine says at the graduation ceremony, other moms loved it, said they were going to wear the shortest dress they had, and teachers were going to do it, too. Don't you think that's a little over the top, totally half an inch over the top. on the last day of school? Oh, yeah. Didn't you do some bad things on the last day of school? I mean... I did. I, I, I've seen a lot of bad things happen on the last day of school, but that was just half an inch. It wasn't really that bad. I mean, I've worn, I've worn some worse dresses at school. During high now, school. what do you think about the mom did going huh. the extra Kudos step, wearing it at the graduation? Kudos to her. You know what I mean? I, I believe that you should always respect authority, but you should always stand up to something if you believe it's wrong. And she doesn't even wear dresses, the mother, but she's going to do this for her daughter and good for her. And she did they measure good, it, Jeff? Too. Did it not meet the measurements? Is on the mom or the on daughter? The daughter? Yeah. On the daughter? Uh, they did measure it. Yeah. yeah, they said, I'm sorry, half an inch. You uh, got rules. Too short. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, this is interesting. This is a video that uh, I saw uh, earlier this week, and it certainly uh, went viral. How many times have you been hungry? You see an ad on TV for a big burger or a hot dog <laughs> or something that just makes you drool, and you've got to have it. So you go to the place, you order it, and then it doesn't look anything like the ad. Well, this guy called out fast food managers on that and actually had them remake it. I'm looking at this picture of the Big Mac and it looks kind of sad and dry. And Can you make one that looks like yes, the picture? It's not a problem. Okay, great. <laughs> Thanks very much. You like that? <laughs> you, you ever hear people ask for that before? I never heard that before. <laughs> so he, he went from, oh, did we have to drop out of the video there? <laughs> he went from place to place, and that's what we were going to show there. He went from uh, mm -hmm. Burger King to McDonald's to Jack in the Box and had them remake it. Uh -huh. you know, and he was very successful in, yeah. in doing that. So it, I, to me, it shows that they are capable of making sure. something similar to what's in the ad. 
but it, they have to go the extra step to do it. Yeah, but when you're so hungry, you don't care how it looks like. And to me, there's a lot of false advertising. Every single time I buy a dress at Victoria's Secret Online, it never looks like, <laughs> you know, when I put it on. So, yeah, I think that's very similar. Yeah. Dan, I know it's happened to you before, right? You All see I know that you is want. this. You worked in a restaurant, right, Jeff? I've never worked in a oh, restaurant. Oh, you've never? I have. No. I have. Careful when you send things back to the kitchen. That's you what I was thinking. You don't know what's gonna come out. You don't I, know, was... and you don't see it always. So just keep that in yeah. mind. There may be something a little extra <laughs> added to his oh, yeah. Yeah. remade sandwich. It may have looked just like the ad, and then some. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maria, thank don't you. Don't send it back. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs>